Hey traders, John Hell here. Hope you guys are doing well. I have a pretty good detailed video planned ahead for you. So much is happening in the markets right now and I've got so much I want to share with you. So let's get straight into what I want to cover in today's video. The first thing I want to cover is the stock market. What's going on right now? Seems like we're starting to get a bit of a momentum shift from this down move and potentially it looks like we're forming some form of bottom and today's action is sharing that we could possibly start to see this snapback happening really, really, really quickly. So I'm going to talk about why I see that happening and and um and definitely there. Also, I talk about silver and gold. It looks like gold has, has has caused that false breakout. It looks like the false breakout has confirmed. So I love to show you that pattern there. And also silver as well too. Really, really, really interesting. Also, gold stocks, GDX and GDXJ, they're looking really interesting. They look like they've caused some form of a false breakout, but a confirmed false breakout as well. I'm going to absolutely love what I share with you as well too, because they look like they're getting ready for a nice move. But also I want to share with you how you know, the Fed's dropped interest rates to zero, they're printing a lot of money. What does that overall mean for the silver and gold long term? So that's what I want to share with you. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, before I get started in today's video, if you are struggling in the markets right now and you need help, then grab my free trading course. It's about, I don't know, about 12 videos long. Um, you're going to read my number one chart reading technique and also learn a powerful blast off technique, um, the deadly mistakes, my number one trading system, how my mentor made $2 million in one trade, so much more. Again, there's like, it's like 12 videos long, plus a three hour, a two hour interview with my mentor as well too, and so much more. If you're struggling right now, then you absolutely need, again, it's, it's, a, it's a free course, okay? And my whole, my whole, my whole objective in creating this course is to give you the breakthrough that you need, whether it's chart reading or trading techniques or trading systems or understanding how to become a good trader and so and so forth, or just learning my number one trading system. So go to that right now, go to johnsfreegift.com right now, or there should be a link in the description, click on that, get it, it's absolutely free to help you out. Now, let's get straight into what I promised you, make sure that I bring this up here. Um, let's actually continue, let's actually start off here. So the first thing I wanna share with you is this, is that I want to share with you the Dow Jones here, okay? So let's look at the Dow Jones, but look what's actually happening here on the Dow Jones. Let me just let me let me just erase all that off the screen. I, I want to share something with you, okay? So we have this market coming down through here right now. And what I want to do is because um, is I want to uh, let me just do this here. Actually, you know what? Let me just I'm going to do something here. Oh, I'm so excited about these markets, guys. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, let me just, I'm gonna move this over here. So this one here, okay? So I'm gonna use the open high close chart here for a minute. All right, so um, the, let me bring it up the last, say, three months. I wanna bring up the last, say, three months worth of data. And notice this, what's, what's happening here, okay? Firstly, let's actually, let's actually bring up the big picture here. So if we look at that weekly chart, Okay, let's look at that weekly chart. If I squeeze my weekly chart up, look what we came down to, right? We pretty much came right back down to all this level of support. We came down to this major level of support level through here, major level of support. Well, look what's actually happening here, right? We're actually having a very, very, very nice reversal sort of candle so far. Now, we're, we're, we're only halfway through the week. This thing could end up back down here by the end of the week, right? So we're at that major level of support. And we're really, really holding here, okay? I definitely want to see the Dow Jones get back above 22,000. If we can do that, we're probably likely to race back up and close this gap up here. But go back to the daily chart now, okay? If I squeeze my daily chart up, you can see this. Look at this here, right? One last final push down. And then that was sort of the last final low. And then now we're having a nice, nice movement up uh, today, right? There's a bit of a gap here as well too. So that actually could be what we call a breakaway gap. Now, a breakaway gap is is at the start of a move, right? Just like this here. You can see how we actually had this gap here and then the market ran. This here could be the same, but also for the upside, okay? So we've actually had a couple of different gaps through here. We had one last final loan, then we had a little bit of a gap. So that actually could be a breakaway gap, but a bullish breakaway gap. Now, if we do continue up here for another few days, that's gonna confirm this is a bit of a breakaway bullish gap. And then we're likely to start to see, you know, something like this, maybe a bit of a pullback and then a rally up, maybe the start of that snap move 
come back and close this gap up here. If we are going to turn into a bear market, I believe this gap is likely to be filled first. And then if it is all over Red Rover for the next couple of years, then we're likely to see some serious, serious action from there. But that's just my guesstimation. But on a other note, if I draw my trend line from there to there, and if you guys have been watching my videos, you know what I'm talking about here. Notice how we actually had, let me bring up the last three months worth of action. Okay, last three months of data. Look at this here, right? Look at this trend line here. This is more like a momentum trend line, right? And notice how we couldn't actually get, we, we couldn't get above it, 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 and couldn't get above it. Now look what's happened here, right? We came down, support, support, little gap here, and now we're starting to push back up through here. So we're starting to really, 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 really gain a lot of strength through here. So uh, my guesstimation is that we've now forming, we're forming a bit of a bottom here. This little gap here has a very high probability now being a bit of a breakaway gap. The breakaway gap simply means it's likely to start the move up and so on and so forth. So the move up is likely to be just as violent or just as quick as the move from there. And this is really interesting because this is exactly what happened in with SARS. Exactly what happened with SARS. Let me actually share this with you here. Um, can I, let me just bring this weekly chart up. What, can I go back that far? Let me bring up the monthly chart here. Um, 2003, right? So this is exactly what happened with uh, with uh, SARS. Let me see if I can bring this up here on another screen. Because um, I, I want to share this with you here. Right? This is so, so, so fascinating that this is the whole, what actually happened with SARS in 2003 is so, so, so fascinating what's actually happening right now in the market because it's like almost identical, all right? So let me see if I can bring up, say, the S&P 500. I'm just, I'm just looking at another screen here, guys, but I'm looking at another screen because I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to see if I can bring back and get enough data that gets going to send me back to... All right. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. All right, so look at this here, right? I'm using investing.com because I'm trying to use... Uh, this here, right? Look at the futures absolutely just taken off here right now. Um, we could be falling some sort of a bottom here, guys. Look at that rally there. So I'm very, very, very happy to be long this market. For you guys that have been saying, man, this guy's got to lose his shirt. Again, I have December options. I even just got it. I even got into another position today. Um, so, and again, a lot of these are, are June and December options. So if we get that snap back over the next few months, even 50, 60%, guess who's, guess who's a happy camper? This guy. But then, you know, if the thing rolls over, then it's a different story, right? <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh, but we're definitely getting a lot of buying action coming into here. And that's what I've been saying to you guys, right? It's like, look at this here. Now, we're up 11% today. And now this, this might not be the bottom, but what we're seeing here right now. But what the market is going to do, the market's like it is take off first. The market is likely to take off first and it's going to happen in a violent action and it's going to lead the economy, right? It's going to lead the economy. That means the market's likely to rally for a month or two and then everything's going to, and then the whole economy is going to uh, uh, sort of flatten out there. And what I mean by that there is this, if I go back to here, right? This is, this, this is the, this is 2003, okay? So this is the whole SARS situation. This is, this is looking at a weekly chart here, but this is looking at the SARS situation. All the SARS layoffs, um, uh, it was all the whole pandemic situation. Pandemic happened actually in March, right? So this is around here, around this time here. This is a weekly chart. This is when the whole pandemic situation, at this time there was travel bans and all that sort of stuff, right? Look what happened here. We actually rallied up. We had a bit of a bit of a sideways week through here. And then we rallied up. Look at this here, right? We rallied up. Roll it up, look at this here, in here, in, in, in this one here. And guess what? It was after the market found a bottom through here and we ran up into what? June? It was somewhere around June into July. I think it was June or July. Somewhere, somewhere around about here anyway. So the market ran up and then went sideways. Guess what? It was at this time, somewhere between here and here within a few weeks. I don't know exactly, but it was around this period here that then they came out and said, you know what? It's all contained. Everything's good. And then guess what? Then the market kept going up. Right, so please, guys, if you think if you're thinking that you need to wait for something fundamental to say, now we have formed and now the market's likely to rally and snap back and all that sort of stuff, the you what you won't get a chance to actually do that, okay? Because it's going to be that that fast and that hard, and it's going to lead the economy coming out there. 
So that's what I'm sharing. That's what I'm trying to say what's happening right now, right? If what we're seeing right now is a replica, a replica, a replica of what, what actually happened with SARS, um, then we should start to see this rally out for the next few months. Not every day, right? So you saw, you saw what happened with, there with, with SARS, right? Is that we probably had a very nice move up but then we had a very we had a very sharp a nice pullback and then we continued up moving into june july and guess what that's when everything was contained so that's what i'm seeing through there right now we're very we're definitely forming a lot of um uh, 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 looks like we're forming a bit of a bottom action here right now um and so it's definitely looking like we're starting to really 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 gain a lot of strength through there a lot of momentum is picking up through here guys so i wouldn't be too surprised to see this thing continue up same for the S&P 500, exactly what I was saying before with the Dow Jones with the same thing with S&P 500. If I go back to that weekly chart, look at this weekly chart, came right back down, didn't, didn't, didn't come back down to this level of support level through here, but now we're having a bounce. Now guys, this may be the final top in this market, but if it is the final top, okay, if we are seeing this as a final top in the markets, then we're likely to see something like this, right? We're likely to see at least something like this, a rally back up 50%. And then I pull over, creating a massive sort of head and shoulder formation. And that's why I've been saying, guys, when I've been buying down here, even if I get that 50 to 60, if we do see the 50 to 60% retracement on this thing, and especially with some of my stocks, again, I, I got into one, I got into, um, I got into another stock today, um, and I told all my private clients about that. Um, the thing is, is that um, I would definitely be, if, if we are forming a bit of a top here, right, I'd definitely be starting to load up with 50 to 60%. I'd definitely be looking to exiting a lot of my positions because I've been really, I've been really, really, really good profit if that happens over the next few months. And I'll be saying, thank you very much for your homemade biscuits. I'm out of here, right? Um, so that's what I'm seeing through there. Uh, and if I go back to this point through here, you can also see how we did, we had, had a bit of a, this was the low down through here and we had a bit of a flush down through here. Let me delete this line off the screen here. All right, and let me delete this line off the screen. Actually, no, I'll keep that there. All right, see this low through here? Notice how we actually flushed down below this low here, and now we're rallying back up again. All right, so we're getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of strength through our right now, and save for, <coughs> excuse me, um, I've got coronavirus. Oh, oh, uh, uh oh, uh oh, I can't help it. <coughs> uh oh, not good, not good, not good. I've got the coronavirus, can't help, uh oh, not good. <laughs> So same for this right here, right? Look at this here. This is what we call momentum shifting right now, guys, okay? And look at this here. And it's same sort of thing, right? As I was saying on the Dow Jones. Couldn't get above, 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 couldn't close above, and couldn't close above at this major level support. And now we're at this level through here. Looks like, look at, see see how we're forming a bit of a base here now, right? We're basing out through here. Now, the really interesting thing is, let me actually bring this up here. The really interesting thing is, uh, when we're actually looking at this chart here, this day, actually, no, let, now I've showed you that. Let me bring back up the candlestick chart here for a minute. All right. And it was this day here that they came out and said that this is pandemic. Interesting, right? If this is some form of bottom, the pandemic worst situation is actually there right now. Pandemic actually happened uh, right. Uh, where was it? This one right here? No. This one right here, right? So this is the whole, actually, if I go back to the SPY, right? You'll be able to see this day right here is when they when they announced pandemic. This is when I definitely went, this is when I really went long big time, this on SPY and also the other. So if we continue up from here, guys, that's what I was saying before you guys, if we do continue continue up, even a 50 to 60% retracement, which is around that 310 mark, my options here right now, guess what they're doing right now? They're picking up speed. They're picking up steam. I don't have to pick the bottom in this move. I have December options, and, and that's exactly what, what I'm seeing uh, through there. So um, so let's just see what happens, guys, because if we do continue to rally back up, my options that I bought here that you guys are saying, this guy's going to lose his shirt. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. Um, so we can see what's happening through there and what's going on through there. So that's what I'm seeing there through there, guys. It's really, 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 really interesting to see that through there, and uh, it's 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 really looking interesting. And as I said before, not only that, but there's a lot of stocks. Um, I mean, I'm in actually, I'm in, I'm in actually uh, quite a few stocks now, or just a couple of different stocks now that I'm liking, um, like J.P. Morgan. I'm actually long that right now. This actually could be forming some form of a false breakout, just like I said before. Look at that there. 
breaking uh, breaking above this level here. We didn't we didn't get we got a little bit of a gap, but not too much. So this could be forming that there. Um, I also Apple's looking really really strong with this false breakout as well too. So this looks like it's going to go for a nice rise. Um, we have this gap up here, which Apple is almost almost certain that I'm almost certain that Apple's going to come at least close that gap through there. JP Morgan is is a different one. We have we have a couple of gaps through here, so I see JP Morgan come um, come in and close that gap. We definitely do have uh, a bit of a gap through here, like a small gap that I pot, that I actually do see JP Morgan probably trying to fill. Um, that'll be probably a bit more of a harder one, uh, but I but a very high probability we're likely to close this gap here and also this gap here. Uh, uh, actually, that was almost pretty pretty much closed there, wasn't it? So probably that, that gap there, we're probably likely to run up to around that 120 mark there. Again, guys, we may not be at the bottom right now. We may continue rolling over, but we're starting to see that that sort of <laughs> that sort of action through there. So let's continue on now to silver and gold. As I said before, guys, I've got a really, really, really good video for you today. Silver and gold, what's happened with that here? Look, let's look at this. Let's look at this here. So if I bring up the weekly chart, I've been saying for the last couple of days that this could be some form of a false breakout on gold. And look what's look at this weekly chart here, right? And this is a false breakout to the downside. Look at this here. Support, support, rally down, weekly rejection, back down. Now what that rejection was where? It was at this level through here, at this so it had this sort of X marks the spot, so we should have kept resistance. It broke down out of this channel. Now we're breaking back up above this channel. Even if we do get a bit of a pullback through to here after today, well, on this week through here, um, I'd like to see a nice weekly close above here. Even if that does happen, guys, we get a small, small little pullback. I see this thing running up to around that $1,800 level um, as this is happening right now. So really, 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 really positive sign for gold. If I go back to that daily chart, look at this here, right? Broke back above it, and look what happened the very next day. As soon as we got back above it, uh, back above the support level here, showing it was a false breakout, bam, we're just continuing up. Very, 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 very bullish action for gold. Moving on now through to the silver chart. Silver chart is is really, really, really interesting, right? Because I'm, 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 I'm in sort of two mind frames right now. First, we're heading, heading down, but if I look at my weekly chart, and I see this here, this here was the final low here. But look what's happening here, right? We have this final low, but now we're getting a bit of a push back up. So it's the, the question is, is this going to be still a false breakout or not? The probability it's likely to be, but um, I still need a bit more, like just like with gold, right? I definitely need a bit more, bit more action to really get it back above this level through here and get back above, say, up to 16, 17, somewhere through there to say this is a false breakout. If this is the final, if we do start to see, even, even if we get a bit of a sideways action through here and we start to rally back up, and we get back above here. This little final, this little push down through here was indeed the final low before I see this thing getting squeezing back up and then continuing up. This is going to be like a final low before a secular year bull run in the market. Now, when I say that, people automatically think this. People automatically think, oh, bull run, it's just going to do that. No. Okay. Bah, wrong. Um, <laughs> what I mean is that we're probably likely to run up for two or three weeks or four weeks or five weeks or six weeks and then we're likely to go sideways for a month or two and then up and then maybe have a bit of a pullback and then up stuff like that that's what I mean secular year bull run probably over the next four or five years we're likely to see within that four or five year period very exciting all time new high in silver so really 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 exciting stuff there now let's look on through to the gold stocks interesting stuff with the gold stocks interesting stuff with the gold stocks now what do we have here on the gdx right gdx we actually use, was this is a weekly chart squeezing into here but notice how we actually flushed down below this level through here came down below support and now we're rallying back up if i bring up my daily chart now this this level that this level let me bring back the weekly chart this is that level through here, right? We have this low level through here, low level through here, and then we broke down and we came back up. Look what actually happened recently, all right? It actually, it broke down, came back up, and now it actually held support and now it's rallying back up. And now we're doing what? Now we're getting sort of a break out of this level through here, a break, little gap up and a break up. Very, very, very positive, right? Because now we've got a slight little higher low breaking up. So very, very positive for GDX through there. 
Um, so short term, this actually looks like that we actually could po quite possibly start to see a move up, especially this little gap up through here and the increase in volume that we're seeing right now. So we're probably likely to see a little move up through here. That's still very out of the woodworks there. But what I am saying is that on a long term basis with the gold stocks, is that if we do continue to hold through here and we start to sort of fill in this level through here a little bit more, then we start to break above 30, we're going to see a massive, massive move. Same for the GDXJ, right? The exact same thing. Look at this level through here where we are right now. If I bring up my daily chart, you can see how it actually came up, rejected it, came down, and now we've got this little gap up with this little bar through here. That tells me what? We have a low, a higher low. Now we're breaking up. And now guess what? We're starting to break out of this level all through here right now. Okay, we're starting to break out of this level through here and we'll create this little high low, little gap up. Again, this is this little gap up is what? This is likely to be some sort of a breakaway gap. Low, high, low, breakaway gap at level of support. We're like, and then the increase in volume. We're likely to start to see a bit more bullish activity through there. But as I was saying before, that with the longer term, especially with the GDXJ, which I'm very, very, very excited about, I want to see this GDXJ get back into here and get back into these levels through here, into this sort of in this triangle pattern all through here. And once that happens, and if we can get that action, then we're likely to start to see uh, this thing break up. And then we're likely to start to see this, see this thing moving forward really, really, really quickly, or really good over the next, again, five years. We're talking about five years here, guys. Guys, um, That's gonna be really, really exciting. But on the short-term basis, guys, this actually looks like it wants to start to see some movement back to the upside. Alrighty, so let me bring this screen up here. And while, I've, while I'm bringing this screen up here, this is all the different indices that I just talked about just then. Silver gold, uh, sorry, Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ, all through here. Uh, very, very nice. This is the GDX, GDXJ. This is the screen that I normally bring up when I'm just trying to get a view of what's happening around the globe today. So one thing I want to share with you guys is this, okay? I really, really want to talk about how the, zero, the, the Fed has dropped interest rates pretty much down to zero. They're printing a lot of money right now, helicopter money, all that sort of stuff, and how that affects silver and gold long term. Okay, so in a nutshell, this is what's this is what's likely to happen now. We're starting to we drop the interest rates. Okay, we're starting to print a lot of print print a lot more money um, in the markets now. On a short term basis, we probably won't see much activity from that. But over the, if we're looking at the say the next five years or so, the next five to say even ten years, we're likely to get inflation. And then possibly even even into uh, massive inflation, then possibly even into hyperinflation from this activity that's happening right now. And now inflation and all this sort of money is going to be very, very, very bullish for silver and gold, especially now the interest rates are zero. Interest rates are zero, gold's going to soar. Um, so that's the reason why the gold's doing what it's doing right now. But even with silver, right, silver is going to absolutely soar as well too. So a longer term perspective, over the next five or 10 years, my, my absolute like real long term investments is indeed in silver and gold and potentially looking to get into some GDX or GDXJ as well too, because they look absolutely amazing for long term. Long term in the stock market, I don't know guys, it's just very, 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 very difficult. If, as I said before, I am long right now, but as soon as we start to get that 50 to 60% retracement, as soon as we start to get that, I'm definitely going to start to unload a lot of my positions because I one, I would have made a lot of money. And two, I'm not too quite sure if we are starting to form a bit of a top and if we are, we'll start to start to create a bit of a low and we start to break back down. So I'll monitor my positions that I'm in in there. Uh, and either way, um, I'm, I'm very, very happy there. But that, so that's, that's what's likely to happen here, guys. Um, all this printing of money, zero interest rates is very, very, very bullish for gold and silver. And then especially when inflation starts to kick in and then over the next, say, five or 10 years, if we see hyperinflation, my, my, my goodness, guys, silver and gold is absolutely going to take off. And we, so we will see what most people have been waiting for in the silver and gold market. And that is a very big market. But what I'm saying here, guys, is this about that. Okay. What I'm saying here about the silver and gold market is... I'm not saying that now, right? I'm saying like, you know, it's going to take time. Be patient if you're looking for a position like that. If you get in the silver and gold, trying to capitalize on the big bull run, then don't don't get in today and then something a week later is like, oh my goodness, it's not, not doing what I wanted to do. You know, like, just relax. It's going to be all good, okay? So I hope that makes sense for there. So guys, um, 
for people that are really, really struggling right now, I want to do something special for you. If you've been watching my whole video all the way through, then I normally charge $10,000 for my coaching program, but for the first person only to email me at how, H-O-W-E-L-L, trader at gmail.com the first person that emails me gets 75 percent off so only two and a half thousand you get my number one trading strategy my scanning my scanning um, um software and stuff like that you also get weekly group coaching calls daily daily facebook daily facebook uh daily facebook um coaching as well to email coaching and so much more this is a, this starts straight away and ends at the end of this year weekly private coaching if you need help right now for the very first person just to help you guys out because i can see people really struggling right now to understand these markets if you need help right now, very first person to email me at howtrader at gmail.com gets it for two and a half thousand, but it's only for one person. Only a bit of a special to help you guys out. So if that's you right now and you're here right now, well, firstly, well done for actually watching this video all the way through. And then secondly, if you do want that coaching, go do that right now. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.